Hello, lovies. Today we're going to do um, a little different. I want to tell you about things we add to words. We're going to talk about ER and EST added to words. We're going to talk about un added to words. And we're going to talk about EL or LE that are added to words. All right? So, to begin with, let's talk about ER, ER, and EST, EST. This word is tall. You know a tree is nice and tall. But if I put ER, tall, ER, well, that means if I'm talking about two things, that building is taller than the tree. But if I'm talking about more than just two things, tallest, that skyscraper is the tallest building of them all. So if I'm talking about one, I'll just use the word tall. If I'm talking about two, I'll use ER. And talking about more than two, three or four or even more, then I'm going to use EST. Let's try another. Short. All right. That little rabbit is a short little animal. Shorter. What would you say? The turtle is shorter than the rabbit. Now, suppose I said shortest. The worm is the shortest of all. There's more than two. All right, fast. That dog is fast. Faster. The horse is faster than the dog. Fastest. The cheetah is the fastest land animal. All right, we did ER. Now I want to talk about EL or LE. I told you that every syllable needs a vowel. Well, in words, that word is wig, I'm not finished. Wiggle. All right, now, that E is not really going to make any sound. It's there because the second syllable, wig is a syllable, it gets a vowel. Wiggle. It needs a vowel. So we put an E there. It's not going to make a sound. And my little worm will wiggle, or maybe he's a snake. All right, nibble, nibble, two syllables. Notice when I do syllables, I'm going to cut them in half. She will nibble on that cookie, and the rabbit will nibble, take little bites of the branch. Thimble. Thimble. Remember when we did thread and thimble? T -un. Tunnel. Camel. Camel. N ick ol nickel. How much is a nickel worth? Did you say five cents? Which would you rather have, a penny or a nickel? I hope you said nickel. That's worth five. A penny's only worth one. All right. Panel. 
panel. <clears throat> and a panel is one of these. This, this is a panel of pictures. They've put, painted a picture on those panels. All right, we did ER, we did L, and now let's talk about UN. You know that word, O-A-K, all right? If I put UN in front of it, it means not, not locked. Stick, she's gonna use the glue and stick that paper on. If you unstick something, you're gonna make sure it is not stuck down. Bend, I can bend that pipe, but if I need it straight, I'll have to unbend. Now it's not bended, unbend. Dress, in the, in the morning you get dressed. Undress means to take off. You dress yourself in the morning and then you undress when you're getting ready to take a bath. Latch, remember a latch is like a hook could latch something so babies can't get in it. And if we unlatch, it means we're going to take it off so that the door can be opened. Unlatch. Pack. He's going to pack to go on a trip. Looks like it might even be a camping trip. He's got a little bedroll there. Unpack. That's when you take things out <clears throat> of boxes and stuff. If they just moved into the house, it looks like they're unpacking their things. She's going to put up a picture that came out of the box. Unpack. Plug. You're going to plug something in. And unplug means it's not plugged in anymore. It's unplugged. Button, good for you. He's gonna button his shirt. And then, at the end of the day, when it's time to take it off, he will unbutton. Okay, let's do a sentence. All right, remember ED means it already happened, so I'm going to look at that word, planted, bush, garden. Good, read the whole thing for me. Bill planted a bush in his garden. Pat fixes a salad salad for the pick Nick. Read the whole thing. Pat fixes a salad for the pick Nick. Mm, itch. Oh, there's Curly Bird. P er, pull. Wagon. Wagon. Read the whole thing. Mitch has a purple wagon. There's Mitch with a friend. Whoa. Whole thing at once. All right, he packed for his trip. This isn't a period, it's a comma. It means we're gonna take a little breath because look at how many words in this sentence. He packed for his trip, then unpacked 
when he got home. Okay, read the whole thing for me. He packed for his trip, then unpacked when he got home. Packed for his trip, and then he unpacked when he got home. All right. Here's a word, family. They live in a red house. Um, g, b, h, y, m, ch, d, r, g, l, p, l, s, k, s, l, s, t, r. Good reading from some good boys. See you later, alligator. Stop your crying, little lion. I love you.